My name is Brooks Holland, and I've been on the faculty at Gonzaga for about 15 years at this point. I started in late 2005 when I and my family moved here from New York. It was a big transition for us, but we've been here for some time, so obviously the school has been a great fit for us, and we've made a happy home here. I teach in the areas of criminal law, criminal procedure, legal ethics, constitutional law, and trial advocacy. The different courses are structured to address student learning preparedness and needs at different points. First year students are building foundations in legal knowledge, legal analysis, legal skills. I also work with students at the, the end of their law school careers in their third year, right before graduation. At that point, we're really focusing on preparing them for working with clients directly, being actively engaged in the practice of law, and of course, sitting for the bar exam in a very short time period. And in between, we're working with them as they're developing other types of knowledge and skill appropriate for that time. But one thing that I think is really important is that we mix, for me, always in the course, a balance of three central learning objectives. We wanna make sure students are developing their knowledge of the law. Knowledge is a necessary prerequisite to good work as a lawyer. But we also wanna make sure students are learning the skills they need as a lawyer, including the skill to be able to question and even challenge the law as it exists. And that requires students to be able to learn fundamental skills in research, analysis, argumentation, persuasion, good clear writing and other communication skills. And in each of our classes, we work in different ways incorporating these skill sets. And then fundamentally for everybody at this school, and I think of this learning objective in particular, we wanna add values to our curriculum. We are not trying to teach an army of technocrats who are bloodless, but well-trained to go out and do law. We want our students to understand that the knowledge and skills they acquire affect real people in their lives in significant ways and that the choices and judgments they make as a lawyer can make a difference for better or worse. And they need to be cognizant of those values that often are in play when they're making what may seem like very technical, logical, or precise choices or judgments around knowledge and skills values are always an important part of the work of a lawyer. One of the great opportunities this school has afforded to me is the opportunity to continue to maintain a small practice on the side as a public defender that I do. Now I do federal appellate cases through the Western District of Washington, but it affords me this opportunity to continue to do the work that I love and to keep it connected to my academic work. And it was that opportunity that was presented to me to be able to enlarge the scope of the work that I do to include teaching and research as an academic, but not to leave the practice that was really important to me. In fact, to build the bridge and connection between those experiences and responsibilities for a lawyer that brought me here and has kept me here. One of my favorite experiences as a faculty member here at Gonzaga has been the opportunity to get involved in Gonzaga's global programs. And the law school, as a part of the university, is very committed to a global experience for students in our goal of building competent students prepared to enter the world of practice. And when I talk about values, I think it'd be impossible for us to talk about values in a way that does not recognize a global dimension to those values. And the university certainly embeds that value set into its learning objectives, and we do at the law school as well. But we need to teach students not just values in the abstract or values to a particular community, but from a global perspective. The Florence program in Italy is one of our central opportunities for students, faculty, and staff to engage global dimensions to legal education. The university has been running its own full-time year-round program for student education in Florence for over 50 years. 
and the law school started participating during one month of the year well over 15 years ago because of the hard work and commitment of several faculty at the law school who are committed to global education. And I've been fortunate in the last few years to be the director of the Florence program. And we've added some really exciting components to it that have been able to create a new range of learning and research opportunities for students, faculty, and our staff. This view is home base for us in Florence when we run our program there in May and June of each year. Very sadly, as part of the COVID-19 pandemic, pandemic, we were not able to run our on-site Florence program this year. Law schools around the country had to suspend their programs, but we're very, very excited to resume this program next year with our friends and colleagues in Italy. And our university campus is merely a few blocks away from the Duomo you see pictured on the screen here, where we have a full service campus available to students with staff who are full-time year round. We have a fitness center, multiple classrooms, a library, a student lounge. It's a really wonderful home base for students, faculty, and staff to work together during this experience. And you can see we try to provide a very diverse learning experience for students while they're there. We engage students with Italian law students and faculty, as well as students and faculty from around the world in a learning experience that touches on the learning objectives I mentioned earlier. We want students to enhance their knowledge of international and comparative law, especially through their classroom studies on campus. But we also work on building students' skill sets regarding global law and legal problems. And we try to ensure that the program instills in students a strong sense of the values that are implicated by problems of global dimensions and international law and comparative law. So for example, we have an international mediation competition that we run with the University of Florence School of Law. The University of Florence has a very significant mediation program as part of its law school. And we've worked over the last several years with them to build this mediation moot court style competition that now is expanding to other law schools in Europe and in the Middle East. And it's become an extraordinary opportunity, not just for students to build their skills in alternative dispute resolution through global perspectives, but also for students to build significant personal and professional relationships with peers and future colleagues around the world. We also host an international human rights conference each year during our time in Florence. And for this conference, we bring speakers from countries all around the world to talk about cutting edge issues in human rights as an important part of our ability to demonstrate the centrality of values to the work we do as academics and lawyers and judicial officers. This past summer, we were scheduled, not past summer, this summer, we were scheduled to have a conference focusing on women's rights as human rights. And we were thrilled about the speakers who were scheduled to participate and devastated that we were not able to proceed with this conference because of the pandemic. But we are committed to proceeding with this topic because it is too important to let go even under these circumstances. So we are actively working on rescheduling it either for this academic year or as our conference for next summer. But the annual human rights conference is a central feature now for students, faculty, and other community members to participate in our Florence program at a really global level. As an extension of the role of values in global legal education, we of course spend a lot of time working with our students on cultural values in their time, whether it's in Italy, in Europe, or anywhere else. And you can see that while students are there, we embed in the program many opportunities for students to learn about their local culture, to appreciate how that local culture informs the history of the legal system in the place where they're studying, and also just to make sure that they have a really great 
eye-opening and horizon-expanding experience while they're with us in another country such as Italy.